time. Amazing! Thank you guys for being here today. Thanks for having yeah. us. <laughs> That's right. Like on a talk show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Well, He's over there. You got a talk. But do you guys have a dream role that you would love to pursue one day? Anyone in history, uh, you know, that biopics that you'd want to maybe tackle? I'd actually want to play the first black astronaut, Neil Milford. Yeah. I think that would be an incredible role. So I follow yeah. the story. I think he's incredible. Not enough people know who he is. And uh, his story is very fascinating. And uh, he's still alive today. And uh, I think that would be something really interesting. I mean, we've seen a lot of variations of astronauts, you know, their stories. But I think, you know, being a black astronaut, we never really seen that. Yet, I think, um, in portions of it, that would be the story. Producers in the room, I hope you just heard that. <laughs> Take notes. Let's get the mic. I would like to play, um, I don't know if you guys seen the movie um, from Jacques Lutzia. Uh, what's I can't even remember the title right now. <laughs> anyway, it's a story about uh, just a normal guy who ends up in, in, in prison and has to learn how to deal with all the prison world and I'd, I'd really love to go in that world because I know my face doesn't scream like gangster and street kid when, when you see it. Of course it does. <laughs> Thanks. But, uh, <laughs> so so I'd, like, I'd like to do something more of like uh, that's far from my casting of something like that. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I like my dream as an actor and dream role is always gonna just be any role that makes me feel like I could just sacrifice whatever or that I, I would just give anything for the role and I just want to play roles that I feel like you can learn something like about humans from, if that makes sense. Uh, so I don't really care about how or which kind of role it is. It could be like a like a bitch in a, in a like, chick flick, or it could be like a really, or a psychopath, I, I don't know, but as long as, as, long as I feel like it's, it's uh, real and uh, has a good story, yeah. I just, I usually like to answer this question, like, I, I like playing women that people would want to have lunch with, for whatever reason, that sort of. <laughs> a good key for me, but then also, like, my imagination is really good, but she's limited. So, I don't know what, like, other people are cooking up, and I just like to remain open, and same as you sort of see what hooks my buttons in the right way. And also, I want to continue to choose projects that scare me in some way, and um, force me to push myself, because um, I think that's where all of the yummy stuff happens for me. So. And, and complicated places, like things that confuse me and the audience and kind of piss people up. <laughs> up. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you know the movie, it's a French movie called The Chorus. And uh, it's like, it takes place in an orphanage and it's French kids singing songs about despair. And it really moved me when I watched it when I was like seven. And uh, I actually like I really remember intensely crying on my mother's lap because I realized that kids could act in movies, and uh, so I begged her to uh, to to be an actress as well, and she was like no. <laughs> but she was like she's encouraging now, but not like she was against the idea of me being a child star. I'm grateful for that. <laughs> it, it takes a lot of focus, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of love that you have and respect for the project. So you think it's getting so and once you get there, then suddenly you're on the mat with like professional wrestlers, and you're like, please don't hurt me. <laughs> and they don't care. Because said, take him. <laughs> and that's just the reality. And it's not always my favorite day. I mean, I chipped my tooth, I had a black eye, and my head was, it was a mess. And I was looking at my mirror, and I was like, was it worth it? <laughs> Hopefully we'll see. So yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I want to I want to help tell the story. So it's all about the like feeling for me. Like um, if it's coming from the heart of the people who wants to make it, then I'm I'm in. <laughs> Uh, Shamir, you mentioned Wexford, Scarborough, but uh, you know, you're back and forth between LA and Toronto. I wonder if you can talk to us, you're a hometown boy on this panel. You talk to us, what do you love about working 
uh, in the Toronto scene and the Toronto film industry. Um, well, I'm filming a movie right now in Toronto as we speak, which is really nice. I haven't been back home and uh, worked at home um, for a very long time. And I mean, for me, it's just I get to see my moms. You know, I don't get to see her that much. And her Jamaican cooking some curry goat and rice, oxtail, <laughs> jerk chicken. You know, but uh, the people here. You know, I really I love this city so much. I love creative so much. You know, and the fact that you know everybody showed up here today just to hear us speak. It's, it's these moments that are so special that we can continue to learn from each other. You know, aside from the work, you know, for me it's a very human experience. You know, and it goes up to me. I want to work here all the time. You know, but there's still work that needs to be done in the Canadian industry in the sense of you know we don't want Canadians to leave and then come back. You know, and so this is why we have these moments like this and the tip rising stars and you know having individuals come here and, and do this. But, um, you know, I, I just like, I mean, the, the festival's incredible, you know what I mean, and things like that. And it's just, I mean, Toronto's the best when the champions win the basketball <laughs> champions. I mean, it can go on for hours and days, you know? But, um, no, nah, I just, I love it, and I'm, I'm so blessed to be a Canadian, to be from Toronto, to be from Scarborough, you know what I mean? So it, it's great, I just, I smile, I smile every day when I come home, so it's, 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 it's amazing for me. Shout out to your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her and my mom. Yeah. It's your premiere. It's my premiere, yeah. Oh, see, now that's a gem. <laughs> she's like, hey, yeah, she's Jamaican, because I'm going to take you. She's like, Jamaican, what do I do? I have no choice. <laughs> I mean, my my goal in terms of setup for this whole time has been to have like a, a home show, like a series that really feeds me, and then in the off season, pop off to do weird little wacky movies where I shake my head apparently um, <laughs> in the off season. So um, I don't know that I have a preference. I just like doing good work. So whether that's uh, in a television series or in a film or in theater or how performance art or whatever, I just want to be like doing good things. So I don't really have a preference for arena. Well, obviously, so, sometimes it depends. Sometimes I read a script and it's shitty. I'm like, this is shitty. And the part is shitty. And, and then I look at my bank account and I go, I gotta do this. <laughs> I got no choice. So, so I try to do like one like that. And after that, if I get a little bit of money, I look at the next one. I'll try to choose a little bit more and try to, you know, you know tamper things. With that. I've been doing this show. Nothing, nobody from Quebec here? We good? We can talk? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing just so on television and Quebec, which is not fulfilling fulfilling my you know artistic value. So I just started a project where we I do poetry with a pianist and we're just running that show all around. So I have that, which I think it's not my favorite show. But on the other side, on weekends I go do my poetry show and then I feel like oh I'm an artist. I <laughs> I can you know I can go on and go back to the show the next Monday and keep 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 this going. Calvin, I want to ask you, I mean, as a, as a young black actor in America, with there are more people of color voices in the creative room, are you are you seeing the quality of scripts? Uh, are they, you know, are they becoming better as you're rising up in this industry? It's really interesting because, I mean, my whole career, I mean, I feel like I should be in the world with Guinness Book Records. I've done more slavery pictures than anything. Oh. You know, I'm talking to slave birth and nation roots underground. <laughs> and now it's all about, you know, the exceptional black male. So it's, it's, it's interesting that we're getting, it's, it's good that we're having the conversations. Everything's very sensitive, very political right now. And we're, we're seeking, we're, we're, everyone's looking for answers. Um, are the parts kind of great? Sure, yeah. Are we, am I ready to do something that isn't about, you know, race and privilege and power and how it works in our country and it's in America? Absolutely. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, is it a process? He's going to be patient.